Woke up this morning on day 20 of the school holidays and mentally prepared myself to chase my tail. I promptly polaxed, then yeeted my water, took my de-stress spray, then tried to boost my brain's levels of oxytocin, serotonin and dopamine with a good old fashioned cuddle. But the dopamine still wasn't quite where I like her, so I thought I'd start the day off with a stimulant. <laughs> The first order of the day is generally feeding time at the zoo. It's been a long time since I personally woke up famished, so I can't really relate when the children tell me they're starving and fainting the minute they open their eyes, but I do know the nagging won't stop unless I fill their mouths with food. I think it's fairly universal that children wake up with an abundance of energy while adults wake up with the opposite. So while I prepared their breakfast, I tried to center myself with some calming meditation music while questioning why life has to be so chaotic all the time. I also questioned how the floor got so dirty in between the time that I fell asleep and then woke up. Got cracking on the morning chores, dragged my ass through the shower, then had the great delight of sending my children off to Nan's for a play date. It was fortuitous timing that she offered actually because this morning I had a reading with Shan, the Made Kuda, and it turned out that I needed my spiritual space. If you've ever thought about getting one, take this as your sign. Afterwards, the universe informed me that I'm not very bright because I tried to wear a hat during gale force winds when I took Mark and the dog to the beach for a blustery blast out. Goldie's ears flapping about just about unalived me on the spot and I tried to go old Hollywood on it and let my emotional problems be gone with the wind. Then it was time to get organised and shoot into town because daddy's got a date with the babies at the arcade while mummy gets her nails did. I literally burned some money, we went out for a weird dinner and as we're nearly a week into dry Jan I thought I'd celebrate with a 0% beer. We enjoyed the winterless north on our chaotic drive home, tried to decide which flavour of candle to light, got the babies ready for bed, read some Harry Potter before I promptly fell into a heap. <laughs>